This is an ABC color presentation. Yeah, swap duty watches with me. Not me, Benson. I'm doing sonar I'll watch right now. Later, uh, Ski. Yeah. Hey, what about you, Ski, huh? Swap duty watches? Yeah. Why should I? Well, I, I drew Midship's fire watch for the fourth time this week. I think the chief's got it in for me. Benson, you are the biggest gold brick in the crew. Now, the last time I traded watches with you, I nearly got sent up to captain. Okay, staff. okay. I asked you for a favor, not for a lecture. That's Grady. He's your buddy. Hey, Grady, that's not a bad idea. What watch is he standing? Bow lookout. Softest duty on the ship. Thanks, Ski. I'll see you later. Oh, good old Grady. I can talk that kid into anything. Blanks have the seat. Flying sub to see come in, see. This is Seaview. How does it look topside, Admiral? Fantastic. We're witnessing the birth of an island. We're going in a little closer to see if we can get more detail. You better take a look at this. Admiral, stand by a minute. It is seismograph report. It doesn't look good. Chip just handed me a report. There's a lot of pressure building up. That island could blow again at any minute. Well, thanks for the warning. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Over and out. We're heading straight for the crater. Grab your shooting chops. We've got about 10 seconds to get out of here. Explosions. Bearing zero two zero. Range four thousand yards. Sir, the island is blowing. Now hear this all hands. Within eight seconds, we should receive the shock wave of a volcanic explosion. Now brace yourselves. Radar's lost contact with the flying sub.
no contact? No. What was that position before they disappeared? Directly over the island. I'm afraid they're down. CV to FS1. Come in, FS1. CV to FS1. Come in, FS1. Admiral, do you read me? What do we do now? Get in as close to that island as we can. We'll find them. They're still alive. Keep trying. Nelson to Seaview. Come in, Seaview. Come in, Seaview. Sharky! Like they say, any time you can walk away from a landing, it's a good one. Oh, oh, good. I guess, I guess I spoke too soon about walking. Oh. Well, look at that leg. Oh, easy. Oh. Isn't that so good? Sprain? like a fracture. We're gonna have to uh, set the brake and make a splint. Okay? Go ahead. Uh. How do we get off this island? We don't. Sit here. Wait for a search party to find us. Oh, that's just great. Well, it lost us on radar. All of our radio communications are broken. So Captain Crane, send out a shore party to look for us. We should be safe enough here for the time being. I sure hope so. Shaggy. Chief Petty Officer, U.S. Navy on leave. Huh? What do your friends call you, Chief? Francis. 
<laughs> Francis. <laughs> well, Francis, this is going to hurt a little bit. Ready? <laughs> What's our position? We're approaching the island now. Very well. Slack off to one third. When we're within 2,000 yards, sing up. Captain. What are you getting? Large objects dead ahead and closing. I'll stop. I'll stop. Captain, bow lookout. Could you come forward, sir? What is it? I just had a visual contact with a large object out there. Well, we had a sonar contact on it, too. What is it? I don't know, sir. It, uh, all I could see was a big shadow. It was moving. Hmm? I can't see anything. It's gone now, sir. Benson, what are you doing up here? Standing by lookout, sir. This isn't your watch. Where's Grady? Why, uh, he's below, sir. Uh, I switch watches with him. On whose authority? Well, I, uh... Activate crash door. Back in the control room. Rig for collision. Sound general quarters. Battle stations, all hands stand at general quarters. <laughs> What's it doing, Patterson? Still right off the nose, Skipper. Can we get a torpedo into it? Not at point blank range. Blow ourselves up. All we can do right now is hope it doesn't decide to attack. Patterson? Moving past the nose now. Toward midships. What's it trying to do? Full elevation on the plant. Damage control. Our main generator's out. Engineering's working on it. Damage control. Shipping water amidship. Are there any men in those compartments? Affirmative. We'll try to get them out. Well, don't seal them off. I'll be right down. Take over. Three. Thank you. 
reinforce some further contact with that thing that attacked us. That's our condition below. We're flooded from frames 40 to 48. The watertight hatches are closed and holding. Did we lose anybody? One man, Grady. Full generator power restored. All watertight hatches secured and holding. Very well. Stand by to report your condition. Moderate turbine damage. We can give you about two-thirds speed. Stand by to answer bells. Chip, I went full elevation on the planes and head straight for that island. Going to beat you? Yes. We've got negative buoyancy. I don't know if we can get up enough speed to get her to the surface. Then you better start praying. Engine room, give me all the speed you can. Aye, sir. Full elevation on the planes. Hey, Admiral. That's a, that's a good-looking flagpole you got there. But uh, I still don't see any rescue parties coming. Don't, don't worry about it. They'll get here. When they do, they can't help seeing this. In the meantime, all we can do is make ourselves comfortable and wait. I've been thinking. I don't think anybody's coming. Why? I've been sitting here and looking around, and, uh, and I don't like what I see. Right, go on, go on. I mean, I, I know the skipper's looking for us, but not on this island. Uh, exactly what do you mean by that? I mean, we landed on the wrong island, that's what I mean. Well, I can think of other islands I'd rather be on, too. Yes, sir, including Manhattan Island and everything like that, but that's not what I mean. Look, we saw this island rise up out of the ocean, right? Right, right. So how come those boondocks are over there? Huh? Well, that's what's been worrying me. Uh-huh. But, but not because I think we're on the wrong island. Then why? We know this island rose out of the sea. We saw it together. But the presence of vegetation indicates this island existed above the sea in fairly recent times. Oh, boy, that's hard to believe. I agree. The character of these rock formations that seem to confirm it. No, 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 wait a minute. Let me get this thing straight. You mean this island has been going up and down like a yo-yo? Something like that, yeah. Oh, boy, what I wouldn't give to be back in the sub again. Yeah. I know what you mean, Francis. <laughs> much from the bridge is a heavy ground fog. Probably smoke from the volcano. What's our next move? Fix the hull as fast as we can. Work parties are standing by. Carpenters, welders, ship fitters. Mm -hmm. Well, put the whole crew on it. I want the ship seaworthy within four hours. I'll get them started. Now, wait a minute, Chip. I want uh, Kowalski and Patterson to go ashore with me. They'll need sidearms. All right. All right. I'm sorry about Grady. Yeah, we know how you must feel. You know, switching watches with him. That's not what killed him. And now, he didn't mean it that way. Of course not. I know how you meant it. Now, don't try to say that I killed him. Crane did. Ooh, 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 now wait a minute. He stood there and he ordered those hatches closed. That kid didn't have a chance. Well, he had to do it. Sure, we would have lost the whole ship. I'm sick about hearing what Crane had to do. Grady was the best friend I ever had. I'm not letting that guy off the hook so easy. Hey, you better cool it, Benson. That's right. 
A talk like that can get you into real trouble. Kowalski, I need you for detail. Patterson, you too. Yes, sir. Get your fatigues on. You're going ashore to look for the Admiral and Chief Sharkey. Just the two of us, sir? Captain Crane's going with you. Well, when you're ready, report to the bridge. Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. About that detail, I'd like to volunteer. Uh, I don't know, Benson. The captain said two men. Well, yes, sir, I know, but uh, that'd mean a lot to me. If the Admiral's still alive... Uh... Very well. You're on the detail. Thank you, sir. And that's a new record. That's the first time I heard Benson volunteer for anything. <laughs> Not a thing. What do you think's keeping them? I don't know. They uh, might have landed on the other side of the island. In that case, we couldn't see them from here. Uh, listen, sir, I've been thinking. Why don't you leave me here and you go scouting around on your own? I don't think so. I don't see how you can manage with that bad leg. Oh, listen, I'll, I'll be all right. Look at it. See that? Look. I'm... Can I make it over there on your own? Hey, yes, sir, I can. I can't. Hey, 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 wait. What are you going to do? I can run and you can't. I'm going to divert it. You can't do that. I'll be the judge of what I can do. Now move. I, I... we have over them. 
We're smaller. Just an earth tremor, Patterson. <laughs> Doesn't mean a thing. I hope you're right. If you ask me, this island can blow up any minute. Benson, where's the skipper? Well, the last time I saw him, he was still on the bridge. Well, I wish you'd hurry up. I want to get off this island. What's the matter, Patterson, you chicken? <laughs> Look who's talking. Well, what do you mean by that remark, Kowalski? Aren't you the guy who always ducks the tough details? Listen, Kowalski. You just keep your big mouth shut. <laughs> who's gonna make me? I'm gonna show you who's gonna make you. Hey, knock it off! The skipper. Skipper! Over here. Right. Benson, how did you get on this detail? I volunteered, sir. Uh, I'm pretty good with a rifle. I thought maybe I could be of some help. Good. We can use you. Benson? Hi, sir. I, um... I want you to know how badly we all feel about what happened to Grady. Yes, sir. You, uh, you know it couldn't be helped. Yes, sir. This island isn't very big. We'll push straight in toward the high ground. We'll be able to see better. Any questions? How close are we going to that volcano, sir? This whole island's a volcano. If it goes, we go too. That's why we can't waste a minute. Follow me. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Sea view. Crane to Sea View. Come in, Sea View. Oh. 
was Benson? I don't know. He was here a minute ago. That's fine. Benson? Where are you, Lee? Near the center of the island, at the slope of the volcano crater. Have you found anything? If I told you what I saw, you wouldn't believe me. Well, what about the Admiral? No sign of him. So far, we, we haven't spotted any wreckage. Nothing to indicate they landed here. I felt it. What's your situation there, Chip? We've made enough temporary repairs to get us out of here, at least on an even keel. I can take you out to deep water the minute you get back. Now, stand by, ready to shove off. I'm not going to give up this search unless I absolutely have to. If there's any change, contact me. And transmission. Come on, let's go. We need a break. There's a lot of island to cover. Skipper, we're not getting any way this way. We ought to split up. No, it's too risky. We could cover twice as much ground if Kowalski and Patterson went one way, and you and I went the other. Now, that makes sense, doesn't it? Well, come on, let's go, huh? No, it's safer if we stay together. Since when did Benson get so gung-ho? You got me. You know something? What? We're not gonna find the Admiral. I've been thinking the same thing. We don't even know if the flying sub crashed in this island. For all we know, it went down to sea. Yeah. We sure cover a lot of ground without finding anything. Even the skipper's getting down. I hate to say this, but we better get back. I know how you feel, Kowalski, but, but we can't give up, not yet. Sir, you know how I feel. Patterson, too. If there was any chance of finding Shark in the Admiral, I'd stay here until the island blew. But we haven't found a sign of them, or the flying sub either. Do you think they're still alive? I don't know, Kowalski. But we have to push on a little farther. Now, the deeper we go into this island, the longer it's going to take us to get back. Hey, Ski, uh, why don't you and Patterson go on back, and the Skipper and I will continue on for a little while. It's all right, Kowalski. You two go if you like. Oh, no, no, sir. We'll stick here as long as you do. Uh -huh. 
This is a new one, a Stegosaurus. I don't care what his name is as long as he can't get to us. Boy, I've been to a lot of zoos in my life. I've never seen anything like that. It's not surprising. They're supposed to have been extinct for a hundred million years and stuff. They don't sound so extinct to me. Some kind of signal for the shore party. Well, it's, it's, this stuff has been on the sea. It'll never burn. Yeah. White leaves make a lot of smoke. Lee, I hate to say this, but you'd better call it off. You know what it means as well as I do if we give up now. I know, Lee. But I wish I didn't have to give you this report. You'd better come back here fast. All right, give it to me. The seismograph's been acting up again. We ran the data through the computer. The island will blow maybe in a matter of minutes. Very well, Chip. Look for us back there. Stand by the shove off. And transmission. We're going back. <laughs> Captain Crane, I'm going to kill you. Did you hear me, Captain Crane? I said I'm going to kill you. Look, Manson, just give me a gun, and we'll forget anything happened. You'd like to forget it, wouldn't you? You'd like to forget how you murdered Grady. Do you think I wanted to give that order? Do you think I get some sadistic pleasure out of knowing that man was going to die? Yes, I do! What would you have done? Lose the whole ship? Let every man aboard die? Get back! Get back! Benson, give me that gun. Don't you understand? You'll be facing a charge of murder. You don't seem to understand, Captain. I'm... I'm going back to the sub alone. I don't want to kill Kowalski and Patterson, but... You're paying for Grady's life. All right, all right. You have some, some twisted idea that I'm responsible for Grady's death, and you want to kill me for that. But you can't kill these men in cold blood. They're not involved. There's no other way. Wait a minute, Vincent. You'll need a witness. I could testify that uh, the skipper blew his top. Tried to kill you. You had to shoot him in self-defense. I'll testify that way. Look, I, I, I don't like the hero personally. Well, what do you say? How about you, Patterson? Count me out. Exact engine room, standby to answer bells. Special C detail, prepare to receive shore party. Aye, aye, sir. Save you to 
Crane, see if you to Crane. Lee, can you read me? Get back to the ship. We can't wait much longer. Get back to the ship. We can't wait much longer. I can't turn out a report like this. Now, who'd believe it? Now, I know it's pretty hard to swallow without any evidence. Even the islands disappeared again. Lee, you've got a little trouble down the galley. Oh, what is it? Seems like one of your shore party, Patterson, brought back a souvenir and stuck in the refrigerator. A souvenir from that island? What? All right, Chief, bring it in. Dinosaur egg. Might even be old Rhinosaurus Rex himself. How's that for evidence? <laughs> 